Welcome back, media. If you have any questions for Connor McDavid, please use the raise hand function. If you have a follow-up, please ask it after your first question. Start with Rob Tichkowski, Post Media. Hey, Connor. Uh, I'm just wondering if you have any sense of where you guys are yet a as a team. I know it's very, very early in training camp, but it's also less than a week before the season. Can you tell from scrimmages and practices what you've got here, or are you kind of like the rest of us? you got to wait a week or so into the season. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Um, you know, obviously, a short camp. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to fit in a lot of new pieces here. Um, but I like where we're at. You know, we got lots of competition in camp. Camp's been high pace. Um, I like these two scrimmages. I thought, uh, you know, they're as, as close to game action as you can get. Um, obviously, it's still a scrimmage and, and you're playing against your own guys, so it's still difficult. But, you know, like you said, it's tough to tell. But uh, I like where we're at. And we have a couple more days uh, to get ready here. Is, is there anything that a player or a team can do to kind of speed up the process? Or do you just have to let nature take its course? Well, I think, uh, you know, it starts with, you know, guys showing up and practicing hard against each other. And I think, uh, you know, we've done that. Um, you know, not, let, not letting guys off the hook in, in, in practice and, and uh, you know, making it as, as game-like as you can. Um, and I think we've done that so far. Um, yeah. Next question, Min Darwell, CBC. Uh, Connor, I... I you know, I know you've uh, scored a lot of, you know, obviously uh, highlight reel goals uh, in your time. And I don't want to make too much of this video that was posted today. But, I mean, um, y you know, you just kind of get, uh, you read some of the comments from fans. I mean, the excitement is there. Uh, you know, uh, th these scrimmages seem to be pretty tight and competitive. Um, just your thoughts on, on uh, you know, the scrimmages in the last couple of days being very close. And, as you mentioned, a lot of competition, which can only bode well for, uh, you know, a balanced lineup once this thing uh, gets going next Wednesday for real. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, there's a lot, a lot there. So I'll try to answer what I, what I remember. Um, you know, I, I liked our scrimmages. I thought, uh, you know, today was better than yesterday, um, which is always good. You know, we're getting better each and every day. Um, competition is always a good thing. And uh, in a year where you know, there's lots of questions, we're going to need lots of bodies. Um, you know, the deeper, the better. And we, we got some, uh, we got some skill up front. We got some uh, some good depth um, on the back end. I mean, you could pick a, a bunch of guys that you'll see on opening night, and and uh, you know you can't really argue it. So that's a uh, that's a good thing for us. Um, we got two goalies that you know we're both we're, we're comfortable with both um, starting each and every night, and um, you know so so from that standpoint, I think uh, it looks good. But you know keep keep working here you know, the the next couple of days and, uh, and see where we go from from there. Next question, Mark Spector, Sportsnet. A couple things, Connor. I guess, you know, you always – I know you're trying to get better all the time and every year you should be improving. It's – for those of us on the outside, it's hard to tell how you're going to improve. Like you're not – are you going to get faster? Are you going to score more points? Uh, so I guess I'd ask you if you'd let us in a little on what, you're try, what you try to improve on. What are the goals you have at a camp like this where you say, I want to get better at X, Y, and Z? What would they be? Yeah. Um, you know, offensively, I think I, I check off most of the boxes there. Um, defensively is where it's at. Um, you know, it's the little things. It's the stopping on pucks. It's winning battles. Um, it's hounding pucks on the forecheck. Um, you know, getting involved in, in, in battles and, and uh, winning face-offs. Um, you know, I've liked, uh, you know, the last couple scrimmages besides Terry and his foot move, uh, <laughs> um, you know, where my face-offs have been. Um can't seem to figure him out, but you know, I've liked where I've been at there. Um, wow. You know, so just bearing down and, and, and rounding out the game. Um, you know, the speed's always going to be there. Um, you know, the, the offensive instincts um, you know, are, are going to be there. I think it's just, um, you know, rounding out that game and, and uh, you know, being solid all over the ice. Okay, Kyle Torres just talked about how when he had a tough start to his career, he had a bunch of older guys that kind of helped him along, and now he's doing that with Pugliarvi. Uh, you've been here for the whole Pajarvi movie and he's back. And, you know, as much as it's up to him, I suspect it's up to everyone on the team to, to try to, you know, get this guy going where you guys all want him to go. Tell me what you've seen and what you, how you can affect 
Paul Yarvey turning into the guy you want him to be. Yeah, he's a huge part of our team. Um, you know, I think uh, if he can make strides like he looks like he has, um, that's big for our team. Um, so, you know, I, I heard a little bit of Turi's answer, and and uh, you know, I think just communicating with him, um, keeping his confidence up. You know, I mean, he he's such a. I mean, he's got the biggest smile. He's such a happy guy playing hockey. He loves the game. Loves to be out there. Um, so you just got to keep that love for the game. I mean, um, you know, I could see that, uh, he was probably losing a little bit, uh, at his, you know, at the end of his time with us, uh, in his first stint. Um, so it's great to see him come back and, and look so, uh, so excited, so happy to be playing the game and to be back with us. And, um, we just got to keep that. Next question, Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Uh, Connor, we, we all saw in the video of what you went through in rehab in the summer of 2019 and rehabbing when you're training is just different than a normal one. C can you explain like just maybe how much better you feel at the start of this season than you did at the start of last just because you've been able to to train maybe how you would like? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, rehabbing throughout the season is, is, is tough or sorry, throughout the off season is tough. Um, you know, you never really get a chance to to work on things. Um, you're kind of just trying to get it back to where it was. Um, you know, so obviously I was going into the, into the off season healthy and, you know, I was able to have a full uh, healthy off season and, and work on things, um, you know, that, uh, you know, I wouldn't have got, a, got, you know, wouldn't have been able to work on in, in 2019. So I definitely feel good, happy where I'm at, but, uh, um, you know, we'll see what happens on Wednesday. You mentioned you want to work on the defensive side of the game, but you know, offensive guys, that's still your bread and butter. Did you spend, I know two years ago, I talked, you, you said there was little things you wanted to work on, you know, different angles, shooting the puck and stuff. Were you able to, to tweak some of those things this summer because you weren't rehabbing and maybe get to work a little bit more on shot and shot angles and such? Yeah. I mean, you always got to be uh, thinking of different ways to, to produce offense. Um, you know, guys, you know, this is a, a, a smart man's league. You know, they're, they're, you're never going to beat a guy the same way twice. And, and, and if you are, you have to, figure out a, a different way to, to start it off, I guess. So, um, you know, everyone's a good player. Um, you know, you got to be always kind of growing your own game and thinking of different ways. Um, so, yeah, I've definitely, definitely worked a shot. Um, you know, being able to spend some time around, around other, uh, around other players as well in Arizona was, uh, was something I, I value a lot and, and uh, you can definitely learn from those guys as well. Next question, Adam Cook, CTV. Uh, Connor, I, I wonder just the way the schedule is with so many back-to-backs. I, be, I believe the Oilers are playing the second most back-to-backs in the NHL. Uh, but I wonder if you've just noticed a heightened sense of competition in the crease between the goalies. I'm not even sure if that's something you would pay attention to. But have you have you noticed anything on that front? A difference in that way from from the guys that are. I mean, because the Oilers are going to be able to carry three goalies this year. Um. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, adding Forsberg, Forsberg uh, into the mix uh, kind of switches things up. Um, you know, guys are, 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 are competing in there. Um, I think everyone looks good. Um, you know, but just being confident in, in, in Smitty and Miko is huge. Um, you know, we were a team that was pretty good in back-to-backs last year, and um, we're going to need to be again this year. Um, so being able to play both guys on, on, on each night, I think, uh, helps a lot. You know, they can stay fresh, and – uh, you know, we just need to play a, a solid game in front of them. Last questions, Jack Michaels. Connor, I wanted to ask you about just um, reconnecting with, with guys like Yessa maybe and, and then connecting with some of your new teammates. Has the protocols and, and the fact that this is not a, a normal training camp – uh, challenge you in that regard, this being your fifth year in captain, and, and how have you tried to get around that in terms of maybe reaching out by the phone a little bit more than you normally would and, and just getting to know everyone and bringing them into your circle? Um, yeah, I mean, just, just reaching out to guys, um, you know, texting with them or calling with them. Uh, I definitely uh, reached out to Jesse when I saw he signed and you know, talk to Terry and, and, and Barry when they all signed and, and, you know, so just reaching out to guys, uh, 
you know, making sure they, you know, feel welcome. Um, other than that, there's uh, you know, not much we can do right now. Um, but once we're at the rink, things are as normal as they can be, I guess. You know, guys can still uh, still interact with each other a little bit just as long as we're wearing masks and uh, and uh, and that stuff. So um, you know, we're taking all the precautions, but uh, we're still trying to make guys feel comfortable and um, you know, make sure they feel at home and, and, you know, so they can be successful and, and help our team win. You touched on the fact that you were good in back-to-back games, and indeed you were seven and one in the second of back-to-backs. I- I'm also wondering whether the fact that you have so many back-to-back games, and I think twelve games in 21 days, will that help you kind of find a routine early on? And and can you use that to your advantage? Because I know you and almost everyone in that room has always told me the more games, the better. We'd rather be on autopilot. Yeah, I think uh, just getting into a routine is huge. Um, you know, that's a lot of games and, 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 and not too many nights. So um, we're definitely going to get used to our, our game day routine, and, and that's a good thing. Um, you know, but with that being said, we have to, you know, be able to win with our, our you know, not our best uh, when we don't have our legs or we're a little tired. We have to find ways to win games that way too. And, and you know, I think last year, you know, I think you said we were 7-1 and one in back-to-backs. So that's a good sign. Um, you know, we're going to need to be able to do that. And, and, you know, be able to play games, uh, you know, 2-1 and 3-2 and, and, and win those types of games and be comfortable with that because, you know, like you said, there's lots of games and, and not too many nights, and um, that's just the way it is.